A man is recovering tonight at UK hospital after being shot by police. The shooting happened around 1.30 this morning on North Hamilton Street in Georgetown. Police say Stephen Young pointed a gun at them and an officer shot him twice. Police have since learned that that gun was actually a pellet gun. Victor Puente has the latest on the investigation. Georgetown police say they expect the man who was shot to survive his injuries. And they say he'll be facing charges once he gets out of the hospital. Police Chief Mike Bossy says they were called to the home on North Hamilton Street by the family of 29-year-old Stephen Young. He says Young had hit his five-month-old child and was also assaulting the child's mother. When officers arrived, they were informed that the subject was inside the residence with a firearm. Bossy says officers found Young in a bedroom pointing a weapon at them. When the officer asked him to see his hands, he stood up and said, I've got a gun. That's when police say the officer fired hitting Young twice in the upper torso. It wasn't until after uh, the subject was under control and first aid was being given that he at some point removed the weapon from his, his pants to examine it and found out that it was, was uh, a pellet gun. Bossy says that pellet gun at the top of this photo looks so much like a Beretta pictured on the bottom, the officer had no way of knowing it wasn't a real firearm. I would not allow someone to point a gun at me for much more than it takes the time for me to pull my trigger. Court records show Young had a warrant out for his arrest for flagrant non-support. Investigators don't believe Young's injuries are life-threatening, but they do believe drug use played a part in the incident. Police say Young will be charged with assault. They also say he'll be facing charges for pointing a weapon at those officers. In Scott County, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. The last shooting involving a Georgetown police officer happened last June. Officers were working with the Scott County Sheriff's Department and state police when burglary suspect William McKee was shot. Police say he raised his gun at officers. He survived his injuries.